Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Satisfactory, just filling up the uh, biomass burners here before we get rolling on this episode. Thought I'd include this in the video just to let you know that I've been doing this. Um, with all the biomass burners we have, I don't have to do it that often, but uh, I do have to do it. <laughs> Otherwise, we will uh, we'll have a huge power outage. We've got a lot of machines hooked up. Eventually, we're not going to have to do this too much longer. Uh, we've got coal in our future. And that is going to automate this process. And eventually, we'll probably be able to mostly just stop this. Or at least it won't. Uh, we won't be on a timer to uh, risk power outages. Oh, between episodes, also, I just playing around with um, making the buildings look a little nicer. We'll see. This is our kind of... Building materials factory. Uh, I just threw some concrete around it and did my exquisite cable work here. <laughs> and that, that's about it. That's about it. We've got work to do, though, so we'll look at all that kind of stuff some other day. We need to get over to our smart plating factory and actually do the smart plating. Now, in between episodes, um, I think last episode we completed the rotor side of things. And then between episodes, I built out all of the other side of this factory to produce the reinforced plates. So that's all done. We can take a quick look at it. And what's left to do this episode is on the very top floor. In fact, we may need to add a floor. I'm not sure. Um, on the very top floor, we just need to assemble the smart plating out of the reinforced plates and rotors. So we'll have to route rotors and then uh, place all the assemblers for the smart plating. Uh, let's head up. Head up, head up. Or I can show you... Let's walk over to the other stairwell. I'll show you what we've done. So this is all new. This is me smelting the iron coming out of those three normal mines. So just three rows of smelters here. Nothing too exciting. Boing, boing, boing. And that is from... There's three iron mines right there. We're bringing the ore up. Just smelting it on this floor and then sending it back up through here. Boom, boom, boom. Kind of seen smelting arrays before, so this is nothing too new here. I'll jump like a kangaroo with my uh, blade runners on here. Then this is us turning ingots into plates on this floor. Sending the plates up. Seen that before several times, and that's our rotor factory on that side. Screws. We're using the cast screw alternate recipe, taking iron ingots, turning it into screws, and sending up, I think it's three belts. Is it three belts? One, two, yeah, three belts of screws going up. We've got our plates going up here, and then over there is another belt of plates way out in the distance going up. So we've got a bunch of stuff going up to the next floor. Uh, more rotor work over there. Up top. This is all rotors. This takes a huge amount of floor space. So you can see we've got rotors backed up. That is good to see because we need these for crafting. Let's, um, I'm going to grab all these actually. And we're going to divert this flow of rotors out of the storage bin and up two more levels, I think, to actually build the smart plating. We'll get to that in a bit. Uh, this is the reinforced plates. So we saw this, I think last episode we did something like this before too. Stacked up a gazillion belts here. Boom, boom, boom. Our screws and our plates all stacked up. And then as we move down production rows, we just kind of bring these belts down. Boom. As we use them. So... Let's see if I can show this off a little better. We did see this before. Uh, let's see. So each one of these rows of two assemblers is going to take a full belt of screws. So we've got a full belt of screws coming out of that conveyor lift. Room up, over, and it's a little hard to see, but it snakes around. That full belt just comes all the way over here. Feeds these two splitters, grabs some plates. Doesn't take many plates for this recipe. Uh, 
six iron plates to 12 screws. So two to one. And that's that. And then the next belt of screws, this one right there, comes around, comes over, and then works its way down to be the next, to be the belt of screws that's going to feed the next row of these two assemblers. Belt loops over, boom, the one up top drops down, boom, and off we go to the last row. And then the other thing that's unique in this setup from the others is I have two belts of plates coming up, and I think these, according to my calculations, are going to have like 80 per minute. So I can't fit them all on one belt, 160, because our belts, I think, only do like 120. So I got two belts of 80 coming up. So I bring the first one in through here and split it. Send some of the plates down here for this first row of assemblers. Once I've split it, now I've got enough room to combine the two plate belts. Because I'm taking 30 off or something. And so I just take the plates, which is this top belt. Boom, coming down. This is the other belt of 80 plates per minute coming down. Put that in a conveyor lift, down it goes, and merges in with this existing belt of plates. And then everything seems to fit. We split here plates for that line, and the remaining plates go off to this final line of two assemblers. And these guys are doing the reinforced plates, so those are backed up. And then the output just comes down here, merges from all three lines. Three lines, two assemblers each. Plates come down, around, and just up. And I kind of had to wiggle them around just to find a spot to kind of poke through the ceiling here. We've got a bunch of product there. So plates, is that crooked? Oh no, that looks good. Ah, uh, it looks crooked a little. I think it's okay though. Yeah, I guess it's straight. Plates go around and go up. So we need those reinforced plates and we need the rotors. So we got to find a way, <laughs> we got to find a spot to bring rotors up and it's pretty darn crowded. I guess we can do it on a seam. I've been avoiding putting these conveyor ports on a seam. Oh, the other option we have is right here. Let's see if we can use this and let's, um, do we want to do that first? Let's, we'll come back. We'll come back to do the rotors in a second. Let's, um, I'm going to drop these ports down just so I can remember. Ooh, do I, am I missing? No, I'm not missing ceiling. Uh, let's turn on the light, be a little easier to see. Yeah, boom. This is gonna be rotors going up. So I can run this. Up, boom. We'll connect that up a little later. I'm gonna let the rotors still fill that storage bin while we're assembling the smart plating. All right, this is our floor for smart plating. And just getting started on this. So we've got assemblers here. And these guys are going to do smart plating. And they take very little input. Two per minute. Reinforced plates, two per minute. And rotors, two per minute. And that means we need a lot of these machines. Now, we're not producing a ton. I think we're getting maybe somewhere around 27 rotors per minute out of the rotor factory and I think we're getting maybe 26 reinforced plates per minute roughly per my calculations that's kind of what we're getting so that comes to I think 14 assemblers right or let's see it would be two per minute 28 yeah 14 assemblers is all we need <laughs> all we need that's a lot and what I'm thinking of doing is just running a stack conveyor belts here with our inputs and then doing seven assemblers on each side and just running these things right next to each other. Then we'll connect the output belts. I guess it's up to us where we want the output to go. Um, we can go pretty much anywhere. Maybe we come down the side with it. And then find storage down below. I haven't even considered that yet. But let's get on it. We know we need seven of these on each side. So there's one. 
Oops. Oh, I should mention. <laughs> our little <laughs> our little buddy here flies through and uh flies through this factory. And while I'm working on the factory, I've been lifted by that thing like three or four <laughs> three or four times. I have to kind of hop off it. But uh maybe someday later never We'll uh, open this up so he's got a clear path to fly through, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. We need smart plating pretty desperately. So let's get this factory going. There's two. I can't zoop this, I don't think. Yeah, no. Doesn't look like it. Three. Yeah, I'm putting these guys right up next to each other because, man, they take up the space. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to be chewing through power here pretty brutally. Uh, it's going to tax our little biomass burner setup. I think we've got the megavolts. It's just we're going to need to refill a lot faster. Did that one snap back? Yeah, not quite where I want it. So we'll take a look and see. But this smart plating is going to allow us to complete the space elevator objective. The current one. You can see it in the top right. We need to supply 50 of these. Oh, no, I lost count. I need two more, it looks like. And once we complete that objective, that's going to free up some hub upgrades. Did that one snap back? Yeah. And one of the hub upgrades is coal power. So we're going to jump on that once it's ready. In between the smart plating and going after coal power, we might go fix or formalize our copper, which is straight where my crosshairs are. We have the little improvised kind of copper setup where we're producing cable and um, just wire, copper wire. We need to produce copper sheets. So we may set up a kind of a formal factory over there somewhere to produce all three of those things, wire sheets and um, cable. All right, there's all our stuff. Let's set the recipes, smart plating. If there's a shortcut for this, let me know. I don't know if there's a co quick copy paste on this to set all these recipes. It's a little tedious. Smart plating. It's good to set the recipes before you get your belts in place because you don't have to jump over them. This one we did, right? And this one we did? No, we didn't. Okay. Smart plating. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing a shortcut. I'm guessing there's a way to do this. Smart plating. I've got my light on because we're going to do power next. Boom. All right. Now we need to run power. I've got power coming up this back side here. And we'll go two big long rows. And let's see. Where do you want to do it? Where's your power back there, huh? All right. Let's do... Uh, I'm going to do a row right here for these guys. Oh, it's a little tricky, right? How this uh how this works. Let's skip that one. Oops, that did not go where I wanted it. Clean up that extra one here in a second. Okay, those are hooked up. This little guy goes. 
And I'm going to start from the other side just so I can keep track of what I'm doing. Yeah, there's our guy flying through again. <laughs> Not ideal. I think this might be the road to do it on. Back this way. I guess we can skip here. Even skip another? Yeah, let's skip another one. No, it's not totally consistent with the last row, but... I won't tell if you won't tell. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Then we got a whole bunch of input belt to run here. And we want the bottoms to split on the far side. So this is the last port. I don't want a an upper belt kind of being the one that feeds into the last port want that to be the one on the ground so let's put some splitters down I'm gonna need these uh, that looks like the right direction and I want lined up I think that's working all right usually we put the belt in First, let's try it this way and see if there's a problem doing it this way. I guess it's a little more more steps, right? Because we have to run connect belts between more things. messed up. Right on this guy. In the middle. How's that look? Uh, just as wrong as the last time, right? <laughs> it is hard to place these. Uh, you can do it from up here. Let's try it. The one thing about Satisfactory I'm not crazy about is the machines are so big, it gets hard to build. But I imagine once you have the jetpack and things, it could be quite a bit easier. Okay, those are all lined up. We'll connect them in a minute. Um, might be time to go get that... Go get those rotors and bring them up. So what do we have here? This is going to be the rotors, but we don't have them yet. I guess those can be... The bottom belt. So. You are going to wiggle your way over to here. This is our reinforced plates. That one is going to go right above it. This one actually has stuff ready. Ready to go. It's hooked up. And you need to go... I think that high. I'm not sure. gonna make this turn. I'm not exactly sure what the best way is to do it. I 
that get us the angle we want? Yep, that looks pretty good, right? I think those are lined up nicely. There's a reinforced plates. That one. Let's see, let's run that belt. We're doing this a little bit just so that we can get the um just so we can get some more rotors in storage before we send them out and start using them. Because I think we're gonna need the rotors for some hub upgrades, so I wouldn't mind having a bunch of inventory. That's why I'm putting off bringing those up here. Uh that output belt. Okay, that's the input belt for Turn off my flashlight. Input belt for plates. I can run that thing all the way down, hopefully. If it reaches, we might need another conveyor support to make this reach. Yeah, we do. Uh, let's put one... Halfway or something. Let's run all these belts too. I should have put that in the belt down the all the way and then drop these splitters on. That's what I usually do. I thought I'd try something a little different. This is a little bit more work. Uh, what's the matter? Reinforced iron plates I don't have. Oh man. Uh, I can get a bunch right here, but that's gonna get old. Should have grabbed some at our uh, little manual crafting factory. Or building materials factory, I should say. We can get a bunch out of the assemblers. Let's go do that. They should be backed up. Just harvesting parts now for building materials. So we can build more Mark II belts. Should be more than enough. Let me grab these two. Alright, we should be in good shape now. Okay, finish the input belt for rotors. Our splitters on the top level. These are going to be a little bit goofy to place. Now a bunch of belts, a bunch of input belts here. So we got all our recipes, we've got all our power, we've got plates routed, we just need to bring the rotors up. our output belt for the smart plating. Oh man, it'll be nice to have this going. We need a ton of smart plating. Almost 20,000 units, I think, by the time we're done. With tier 8. Uh, I'm going to redo that one. That one just... It's a little tricky. Make sure it goes smooth. I 
could use conveyor lifts for this, like this part here, I imagine. You could put a conveyor lift. I actually like the way the angled belts look a little better. But we'll stick with that for a while. But once we get to the machines that require maybe several, three and four inputs, then we might do a different approach. But for this, I kind of like the belts that go down, angle down. I like the looks of the parts going down. All right, one more. All right, time to bring the rotors up. And they're going to come up right there. So that belt's ready. I think we might just need to go down to the rotor floor. There's one more down, right? That's our reinforced plates. Here's the rotors. And we need to reverse all these belts. <laughs> so the mergers, these are all going to have to move, right? Yeah, because they're all heading the wrong direction. So we've got a few more rotors. I'm going to take all these. And we're going to start pulling this stuff up. Because this is not really where we're meant to be doing rotor development. These are all meant to be used for smart plating. But they're going to come in handy, as you'll see, that we have minimum inventory. We will make use of those for door. There's where we need to deliver them. We got a clear path. It's going to be easy. Okay, we're good. Let's get to routing. We'll start on the far side. Grab a belt. And where's our first output? Is over here. Yeah, here's a stack belt. Same kind of thing, right? Boom. You can go... Go down the middle. We've got plenty of room up here. What I might do with this extra space later, we're going to have the ability to build batteries and that can kind of normalize some of the peaks and valleys in our power production later on. So we might be able to use this space just to bunk down a bunch of batteries. We'll see. I'm not sure if they're called batteries. They might be called accumulators or something. Or power storage or something, but thinking about that may be a way to use up some of this extra space. The other thing is storage. We wanted to cache more items. Uh, all right, we need to just stick to the middle of the foundations. And let's bring our port down so I can see where we need to go. Here come the rotors. Slow and steady. Very slow. Emphasis on the word slow. But fortunately they're steady, so we will start getting some smart plating made. Let's go up. That's it. Rotors are connected. It's not a sat it's not exactly a saturated belt. Oh, that's not it. We gotta hook up all the uh gotta merge the other production lines. What do we have? One, two, Three, four lines. So this needs a merger. Uh, why are you not giving me the little hint? I don't know. I think that's right, though. Okay. Okay. There come a few more. Oh, man. Only three. All that time it was disconnected. We only got three. off this one. Oh, we're going to get more off of this line. And then the last line here. Turn around so I can see. Line this up. Getting the helpers there this time. Line. Wasn't perfect placement, but it'll do. Alright, there's more rotors. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. I like it. Rotors are going up. It's not super fast, but this is going to be running in the background while we do lots of other things. Okay, reinforce plates again. Nothing to do on that floor. Uh, rotors should be going up, though. Yep, you can see them in the distance. Now we need to do our output belts and verify that 
these lines are producing. This is going to be a little harder to verify that everything's working because the rate of production is so, so slow. I suppose one thing, yeah, in the way we've got this manifold system, it's going to, these guys are going to need to probably fill up with input before the ones down here get their bite of the apple, so to speak. It's going to be a little hard to verify whether these are all working or not. We'll have to check back later. All right, now we got to figure out where we want the outputs. We don't have a lot of clear paths all the way down. Um, we could do... Hmm. Yeah, we need a way... <laughs> we need a way down. Uh, um, anywhere along this side maybe would work. Again, I'm looking for a place I can put a conveyor lift from the very top floor all the way through to the bottom floor without having to zigzag to find open space. Do it. Maybe around here. Let's see. We're on the, yeah, on the west side of the factory. Let's just go down and see if it is clear. Not clear here, huh? That spot's taken. We could always extend the factory one thing. Got to figure out where to put these. How to get these down. The spot maybe right after the stairs. Like something like this could work. Unless we wanted to scale this factory up. If you ever want to scale this. Uh, we're going to be coming out this way. Maybe it is best to widen this whole factory by one block. One of foundation. I'm going to jump out and just take a look. Oh man, we're going to take some damage. Not too much. One more out. What do you think? What do you think? We can kind of see from here where, how far the, which floors have the factory, like right on that last panel. I think if we go one more wide, then we just bring down the outputs through here somehow. Uh, let's see how much of this I can do from down here. Wow, can I do it? Almost all of it. Whoops, we need zoop mode. We'll start with this extension and then, uh, we'll see with time we can shape this better. I need to close all this off. I'll probably do that between episodes at some point when I get some extra time. Main thing is that we've got the production going. You know, we could even add a storage floor underneath, right? We've got room to come down, but would that look kind of goofy? If this side of the factory dipped down lower than that side? Might look a little goofy. I'm thinking of putting big support pillars and stuff to make this look reasonable. Let's go up and see. I think we definitely want to bring the smart plating down on that side that of foundations that we just built. But where do we want to do storage? For these things. Oh, we got... Is that our first floor? Yeah, it is. Now this smelting floor, oh man, we could do a bunch, right? So we could bring down the smart plating here, boom. You know, we're not going to need a lot of storage, but we could run the output belt over here, wiggle it over here, go through some storage containers, and then dump out down here somewhere. 
Let's do that. Let's do that. We'll be done with this factory. Uh, we're going to come down right there. That's going to be our smart plating. Uh, we could... Yeah, while we're down here, let's do it. It was, uh, we're not going to lose any production working on this because it's going to take a while for those assemblers to fill up with smart plates. The production rate is very slow. But what I was thinking of doing... But we'll leave room. I'm gonna. Again, this is. I'm thinking about storage here. This is all about storing smart plates. I think we're gonna use them as fast as we produce them. But. Just in case. We get preoccupied with other things. We do not want the smart plating production to back up at all. <laughs> that just needs to go to center, right? Will you not go? Yeah, you're fine. Um, so yeah, I can do a whole array of these things. Let's just do a few. I don't think we're going to need this. Be highly surprised. Are you not lined up or something? Nope. Not quite. Not by a long shot. Deleting those one by one just so I don't make a mistake. Uh, I know you can do the multi or hit control and delete multiple at a time. We can get this lined up. I thought it was. All right, yeah, it'll take a year to fill these up with our current rate of production. And then once we get trucking, we'll worry about how to worry how to feed this supply down to a truck route or a truck station. All right, that's our product coming down, and we need to just set up these ports.
Okay, now we need to get our output down there. Let's do it. We'll combine. Yeah, we're going to snake around from back here. This belt's not going to be compressed. We don't need to worry about that at all. Output belt. Uh, sure, you can go in the middle. Uh, let's not. It's going to be a little cramped if we do that. Doesn't matter. You can go there. Oh, beautiful, beautiful smart plates. We need it. Fifty for the first uh, space elevator objective. Oh, 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 no. Let's try and be consistent. Uh, it's going to be a little tricky to do that. We can try it here. Down they go. Now it's just merger town. We got tons of the mergers. Let's make sure this is going to work. Yeah, those will be fine. Oh, by the time we're done, we might have the 50 smart plate we need. That would be nice. are not placed correctly. Right? Oh, no, that is right. I'm actually going to harvest as we go here. Oh, yeah, we're going to have plenty. Wrong way. Oh, did I just do something wrong? No, no, that worked. That worked. Or maybe we won't have enough. We'll see. harvesting these as we go so we don't have to uh, wait for them to make their way down to the storage bins. We're still going to go down there anyway, though. Um, anything over here? Nope. Not yet. There's one there I can grab. The 
This one might have some. Let's grab him. How are we doing? We got 50. We got 50. Awesome. Awesome. That's all I need for now. I like it. I like it. It's actually a lot faster than I thought. But we did have rotors. Uh, not really. We didn't have rotors backed up because I took them out of the storage bin. I'm going to collect these up. I think we mostly need these for the space elevator. I don't know if the hub has anything that we're going to need. Oh, this is kind of nice. I should grab them from the machine, right? Hello? All right, we're almost done with this silliness. I just want, <laughs> I just want to grab, grab these. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's go to the space elevator. We're gonna on the way down. We're gonna grab any that made it to the storage bins. Any of them that made it to the uh, storage bins down in the smelting floor here. Uh, one more down, maybe. Smelting. Come here, you. All right, let's see if there's any in here. There'll be up at the top, maybe. 30, we'll take it. How many do we get all together? We get 100. Looking, I don't see it. There they are. Yeah, oh man. 158 so far. Let's go pop this into the space elevator. Hmm. And make our first delivery out of there, and then we'll call it an episode. Got my Blade Runners on, so it shouldn't take too long to run over there. Oh, man. This is going to unlock some really good stuff for us. Oh, man. Oh, man. We got so much to do. Just have to uh, kind of breathe and take our time, I guess. But I'm anxious. I want to get coal power going. I want to get steel production up. We've got the minor upgrades to bring those up to Mark IIs. We've got belt upgrades coming that are going to be... Um, Halfway unlocked from the space elevator. Still need to unlock them in the hub. We've got a copper factory that does need to be built at some point. Can't get by with just this ragtag collection of a couple constructors laying on the ground. We need to get a road, a proper rotor factory. We need to get um, reinforced frames. We need to close up factories. <laughs> There's a lot to do. Always a lot to do in this game. All right, let's do it. In go the smart plates, and then I think this is a couple step process. Seal it and send it, and then we'll take a look. Boom! Get some kind of animation here. There it goes up into space via the space elevator. 50 plates. We've got a new objective you can see in phase two. We're going to need 500 um, smart plating up in the top right of the screen here. I can't really mouse over to it. We need 500, what are those? Versatile frameworks or something? And then smart wiring or something? <laughs> Let's look and see. Let's look and see. So, automated wiring. That's not something we have to automate. Versatile frameworks. And then we've got the smart plating just kind of chugging away. In fact, we're 108 of the way there already. And this has a, this I think is on a timer, isn't it? I'm looking. Is there any kind of timer here? Let's go to the hub and see if we can actually unlock tiers three and four. I also take a look at our power network here while we're. Okay, capacity is 1450, maximum consumption's at 1162. But we're, we've got some headroom there. We still have some headroom. Let's see how depleted this is. Okay, 43 got chewed out of that just while we were doing our um, smart plating factory. And it's not just 43 from here, it's 43 out of 49 of these biomass burners. 
hub. We want to go to the hub. Oh, I changed some things. While I was doing some of these aesthetics, uh, this concrete kind of pushed out into where we were doing the ma'am and our workbench or whatever. So I just moved those things over to a platform here next to the biomass plant. So we've got our ma'am here. We've got our, what do you call this thing? Equipment workshop and the awesome shop on that platform, but let's go here. We want to see, we've got the ability to unlock tiers two and three, or three and four. If yeah, we do, let's take a look at these. And this will show you why I'm excited. Um, tier two, I guess we should just do these jump pads real quick, right? We've got tons of everything. Let's do this just to get it out of the way. I'm probably not going to use jump pads. Maybe I'll try them. Milestone reached. Several buildings aimed at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. All right, that's that. Uh, they're not going to show me the. Oh, here we go. All right, yeah. Tiers three and tiers four are now available to us. We got coal power. This is huge. This is semi urgent, and it's going to save me. A lot of time filling up biomass burners in between episodes. So I'm anxious about this. Probably the first one we're going to do. Vehicular transport gets us the tractor and the truck stations. We talked about this. Oh, and they give us some inventory slots too. Super excited about this as well, right? This is going to allow us to make more complex products and use like the screw factory and the reinforced plate factory that we've got and export those materials elsewhere. And then with the copper factory we're about to build, this will come into play too. Steel production, uh, this stuff takes a lot of time. So I kind of want to get going on this soon as well. So coal power first probably, and then steel production second is what I'm thinking. You can see here, we need these modular frames. We might craft those out at the craft station if we can, or probably can't. We may set up something temporary just to get us through the hub objectives, but eventually we're going to need a factory to produce these modular frames. But all the steel stuff is going to be important, super important, not just for um, hub objectives and things, but we need this for the space elevator stuff here. There's the, the uh, versatile frameworks, and the steel is a little bit involved and slow to produce, as I recall. But that we want to get started on that early. Melee combat, not a huge deal. Boy, the the um, rebar gun is just seems overpowered. I'm out in the field between episodes, harvesting biomass and trees and stuff and taking out enemies, and I've had no issues at all. Even with the alphas, now that I've got the, um, the rebar gun. But this will come, we, we may do that at some point. That's probably a lower priority though. Then we've got advanced steel. And important unlocks here. Staters are really important. Automated wiring we saw we need for the space and elevator. Cased beam and heavy modular frames. Those are used. There's our minor upgrades we're talking about, right? That's going to increase the capacity of all of our factories that we've built so far. We've built them based on using Mark II miners, including the smart plating factory. So that's compelling. That might be third, the third thing we go after. We're going to need steel up and running to do that, right? This requires 200 steel pipe. What do we got? Hyper tubes. I'm not a huge fan. We may try those. Lower priority for me. Blueprints, same thing. Lower priority for me. I don't, I'm not a big cut and paste factory builder. I kind of get bored once I'm doing cutting and pasting. So we'll see though. We should check it out. It is an update seven new feature. Logistics Mark three, super important or useful at least, right? Faster conveyor belts. This takes us up to 270 per minute. In fact, we're gonna build our coal power generation, assuming that we've got these belts unlocked. So just like we were scaling for Mark II miners before we had them, we're gonna scale our future factories to assume that we've got Mark III conveyor belts. Now these are gonna take more resources to build, to build each conveyor belt once we've unlocked them. So we'll have to keep an eye on that too. I imagine it probably uses steel. Storage containers. These are nice. Just a little more compact form of the other ones, I think. They hold more and they've got two inputs and two output ports per storage container. So that can kind of come in handy. 
Uh, stackable pipeline support. Ooh. We need this. We need this, actually. How are we going to do that? Mm. We kind of need this to do our coal power. Bummer. So, the bummer is we need to set up steel production before we can even unlock this. But the stackable pipeline is going to be, I think, pretty important to the design of our coal power. Hmm. Um, hmm. Yeah, it really is. We've got these pipeline supports that I imagine we can move up and down. In fact, we can select this milestone. We've got everything for coal power. Let's just do it while we're here. Uh, we can boom, boom, and boom. So all these factories, the cable, the rotors that we were just making, and our um, reinforced plate factories, all that stuff being in place is what's allowing us to do this real fast. Let's watch this guy take Milestone off. Reached. Coal is an improved alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Note, ensure the close proximity of water to the coal production line. Note, Off we go. Pumps will aid in vertical transport of fluids through pipes. Note, throughput and volume indicators are added to each pipe section automatically. So that's coal power unlocked. We need frames for that. Yeah, we were just talking about this logistics three. I think I need this stackable pipeline support for the design I want to go with in building our coal power plants. Because our coal power plants, these coal generators, they take two inputs. One's going to be water and one's going to be coal. We could do the water on the bottom and the coal on the top. We'll see. We'll see. We may give this a go before we unlock these guys. Because this is going to take getting steel up and running, and that's not trivial. There's a lot of work to do with that. So tell you what, between episodes, I may... Well, we'll see. We'll see. I was going to say, I may churn out some of these in the crafting bench just to get us 50 modular frames so we can make it past this milestone. We've got tons of wire sitting in storage already, so we can unlock steel production. But we're probably going to just jump right into coal anyway. Oh, man. Oh, man. We'll have to see next episode what we go after. Right now, the competitors or the contenders are copper factory. We need to, we need to just get a proper copper products factory up. Then coal production. And I've got a place on the map already identified where we're going to do that. It's up here. I think. Yeah, I think it's up here. We got a bunch of water over here, and somewhere along here, there's a bunch of coal deposits. There's four of them. We're going to overclock those things. We're going to put a bunch of water pumps in here, and we are going to scale up our power production to as much as we can out of the mines we have access to. We'll get to that next episode for now. This is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series on Satisfactory. Very cool game. I'm enjoying it. Hope you are too. And I will see you all in the next episode.